My name is Maria Ozunova-Dang and this is an Oxford University Press sponsored session on the changes to the theory of knowledge curriculum. The curriculum will be taught to students for the first time in 2020, so you must be curious to know what are the changes to the curriculum and how are things shifting from the way TOK is being taught today um, to the way that we're going to be uh, teaching it to students in just over a year. In this session, we're going to cover what are the things that you no longer have to hold in the new Theory of Knowledge course, the things that are staying the same, some things that are shifting within the um, curriculum, as well as some things that are new elements that have been added. First up is a list of things that you no longer have to deliver to your students. And the first and big one is around the ways of knowing. The ways of knowing have been a big element and have been around in TOK for a long time. The fact that they're not required to be formally taught doesn't mean that they'll disappear from TOK entirely. We still expect to see them when they appear and if they appear organically in our exploration of knowledge in the areas of knowledge. Another thing that you no longer have to hold in TOK in 2020 is uh, getting our students to construct independently their own knowledge questions. Right now we teach this skill in class because students have to produce their own independent knowledge questions for the purposes of the TOK presentation, as well as offer these knowledge questions in their essay. The new theory of knowledge focuses instead on the exploration of knowledge questions that have been provided either by the IB or by you as a teacher in a classroom setting. So the focus shifts from constructing knowledge questions to exploring um, different perspectives on these knowledge questions. A third and big removal from the Theory of Knowledge course is that we'll no longer have the Theory of Knowledge presentation and alongside it, the presentation planning document. This has been replaced by a new internal assessment task that we'll talk about in just a little bit. But the presentation um, is no longer going to be required as, a, as an assessment piece. However, if you really enjoyed what your students did with the presentation, this can remain part of your classroom practice as an activity or even as a formative assessment. And lastly, the last thing that will no longer appear in TOK in 2020 is this distinction between personal and shared knowledge. And this is something that is framed slightly differently in the new TOK. Now on to a couple of things that are already familiar to you and that are staying the same. And the first big one is the areas of knowledge. You will see a slightly shorter list, but every one of them that shows up on this list is already an area of knowledge. So the five areas of knowledge that are going to be mandatory to teach in theory of knowledge are going to be history, mathematics, the human sciences, the natural sciences, um, and the arts. The other piece that is staying more or less unchanged is the essay as an external assessment. The essay remains an extended piece of writing on the student's choice of a prescribed title um, which has been offered um, by the IB and remains externally assessed. It has a slightly modified assessment instrument, but other than that, this is the essay as you already know it. Now on to a couple of things that are familiar to you because they are already in the TOK curriculum, but they are just shifting places in the new syllabus. And the first one is language. I know we said that ways of knowing will no longer be taught, but language is really the one exception. It goes from being a way of knowing to being offered as one of the optional themes under the banner of knowledge and language. So if you already have material that you are using to offer to your students on the way of knowing language, a lot of this material can find expression, even though this is a new element of the syllabus, this is already material that is familiar to you as well as students. The other two are indigenous and religious knowledge systems. These both are areas of knowledge in the current curriculum, and they're both shifting to become optional themes. So we'll find them as knowledge and indigenous societies and knowledge and religion under the banner of optional themes in the new TOK curriculum. Then there's ethics, which is another area of knowledge which will no longer show up on the list of areas of knowledge but that doesn't mean that we don't do ethics. Ethics is a central part of the exploration of knowledge in TOK, so we will find ethics as one of the four headings that we will explore throughout every module in TOK. And that brings us to the last point around the framework. 
Right now in TOK, we have the knowledge framework to help us organize the course and to help us go through the different areas of knowledge and build the basis for comparison across the different areas of knowledge. The knowledge framework is no longer called a knowledge framework, but there is a framework that unifies the course. And this framework is composed of four headings. And those are scope, perspectives, methods and tools, and ethics. And that's where ethics is shifting, going from being an area of knowledge to being one of these four headings that we will discuss every time we discuss a new module in TOK in 2020. Finally, this is our overview of what are the new elements that have been developed and that are entering our course in just over a year. The first one is our core team, and it's called Knowledge and the Knower. And this is where we really center the student in TOK, where the student really takes center stage and we make uh, the learning in this course and the content of this course relevant to the student as an individual. There's various opportunities with this. This might be um, an opportunity to open the course, uh, with relevance to the students, or you might organize your course in a way that you open with knowledge and the knower, but also save some time to close by returning to this topic of what is the student's engagement um, with knowledge as a kind of outro from the course before students finish their TOK course. The other two additions are two new themes, and they relate to the topics of politics and technology. And both of these have been topics that have been of interest to students, as we can see with real life situations that they choose to explore when they're given a choice in their TOK presentations. So the IB offers language and support and structure for analyzing um, questions of knowledge around politics and technology as part of the optional themes. And the last and big addition is the internal assessment which replaces the TOK presentation. IB has designed a task that asks students on a chosen one question out of 35 offered prompts to curate an exhibition of three different objects that in some way relate and answer um, that prompt. This is an individual task, unlike the theory of knowledge presentation, which had the option of being collaborative. And it offers very exciting opportunities for showcasing student work, either to peers in the classroom, um, to younger grades, or to really raise the profile of the subject by offering this exhibition for the whole year group to the larger school community. On this slide, you can see at a glance the changes side by side from what is the TOK curriculum presently to the kind of changes that we see in the course structure in 2020. So in 2020, we have the core theme of knowledge and the knower. There are five optional themes, knowledge and language, knowledge and politics, knowledge and technology, knowledge and indigenous systems, and knowledge and religion you are required to teach two out of these five themes and there is the opportunity to weave these themes through your exploration of the areas of knowledge. Now the areas of knowledge, as we said, remain largely unchanged, but the one change is that all five that are offered right now are mandatory. Um, this allows the IB to ask specific questions in the essay relating to specific areas of knowledge. So the challenge to teachers uh, might be, whereas previously they might have had the opportunity to choose and play to their strengths in their choice of which areas of knowledge to teach, we expect that uh, you might feel like you will need more support in teaching this specific list um, of areas of knowledge. So working from the bottom up, the areas of knowledge will be assessed externally through the task of the essay. Uh, the exhibition and those 35 prompts that are offered by the IB need to be explored with those three objects in the context um, of the optional themes or a student's choice of one of the optional themes or the core theme of knowledge and the knower. This was your overview of the changes taking place in TOK and I hope you are excited to incorporate some of these as you move towards designing your new course for 2020. Thank you for watching.